He was only 38. He was like the Stephen King of WWE. He he was just an unbelievably charismatic and creative mind, and he just laid it. He just threw up everything that was in his brain into his characters. Like he had this like very like cult leader type character where like everybody kind of looked like they were in Duck Dynasty. He had like the giant beard, dreadlocks, kind of talked very like it was kind of cool, but also kind of like creepy. He was in like a rocking chair that would creak back and forth, like just like kind of like horror vibes. And then he went away for a year, came back. And his new gimmick was that he was kind of like this like Blues Clues, Wiggles type like (laughs) kid talk show host where like he dressed like Mr. Rogers and he was all like happy and giddy. But and they did like these vignettes, like these videos of him in what they called the Firefly Funhouse where he had like all of these puppets with him. He was like a legit like Mr. Rogers type talk show host. And week after week after week went by and you're like, this guy was such like a really like weird and eerie character. And I like turned him into this. But as the weeks went on, you're like, oh, this is going to get dark at some point. And he had like this demonic alter ego that he called the Fiend, where he had like this demonic pale white mask and he put on like yellow contacts, kind of like Sith eyes. And he was just like the creepiest. I'll pull up a picture for you. It was just like the creepiest alter ego character. And he was like completely indestructible it would light him on fire and he would come back and kick everybody's ass like he was just probably one of the most mesmerizing mesmerizing and charismatic wwe superstars um of all time 